Hey everybody, this is round six of Pandemic, Reign of Cthulhu. We are in a really good spot, I think, sort of. I mean, our hunter is about to go insane. That's not great. But our hunter also has five clues, meaning that she can seal the Arkham Gate. And I, I, I think I'll just have her do that immediately, like right now. Turn one, action one, spend five clue cards to seal a gate. She has to step off the gate first. There. That gate is now sealed. That's good. She can also remove one cultist from each location in this town. So there's one, two, and she's got a Shogoth. That was, uh, oh, that was just her first action. That was all one action. So she could move into the space with the Shogoth, then she would have to roll the Sanity die. But in order to defeat that Shogoth, I mean, she's got to, she's got to, she's got to defeat it at some point, right? Or does she? I mean, maybe she doesn't. We could just let the Shogoth redirect itself towards the Purple Gate in Innsmouth and just hope for the best because the Occultist can manipulate the Shogoth. I think that might be the way to go. So instead of, instead of having her struggle with her sanity, I might just have her take action two, action three, action... Four, trying to head over to the pawn shop essentially to get rid of that cluster. Although you know what? Now that I'm thinking about that, the occultist can force cultists. The occultist can force cultists to move, so she can break this up herself. So my question really is, what's the most useful thing for our hunter? to do at this point. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot that she can do. Once again, we're in a situation where what we really, really need are clue cards. And there's just not a super easy way to get clue cards other than to end your turn. I guess the hunter should just go hunt. You know what? I think the hunter is going to do exactly what the hunter is meant to do. This is her calling. She's going to take her second action to move into a space with a Shogoth. I mean, that's what she wants to do, right? She's a hunter. She wasn't put on this earth to, to run away from Shogoths. All right, so she gains another insanity token, which means that she has now lost her grip on reality, and her card flips over. So she is now insane. So she only has three actions per turn now, and her special ability has changed a little bit. Not for the better. Each turn, the first time you enter a location with no cultists, roll a die. On any sanity loss result, place one cultist instead, ignoring all other results. Okay. Remove all cultists when doing the defeat a cultist action. So that means that she cannot defeat a Shogoth? Oh, she can, but she doesn't get to do it in just, like, two actions. She has to spend all of her actions to do, or three actions to defeat a cultist, a Shogoth, just like everybody else. She has been driven insane by this Shogoth, unfortunately. So much for being put on this earth for this. Well, with her final action, I think, no, with actually one of her actions, she'll remove a cultist. And then I guess for her other action, she'll just what will she do can she swap cards or something with i guess she, you know she might she might give i think it might be intelligent to give the silver key to the occultist that way she can teleport to Innsmouth as needed and close that gate when that situation comes up
So that's her fourth action is to swap swap cards. Not sure how I feel about the hunter being insane. That 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 might not have been the right choice. We'll find out. She's going to draw up. That's brilliant. That is exactly what I wanted. She has two clues for Innsmouth. The um the occultist has three clues and a relic to get her to Innsmouth. That's great. That is exactly what I was hoping for. I mean, to a T. All right, so Shogoth moves. So the Shogoth isn't going to move towards a closed gate, but the Shogoth is going to move towards the Innsmouth gate. So he's going to move there. And Train Station and Swamp get new cultists. Train Station's way back over there. Swamp is way down here. All right. That is great. This is good. This is really good. So I need the occultist's turn is now. She needs two cards from the hunter. So as action one, she's going to take one card. Action two, she's going to take the other card. She now has five clue tokens for Innsmouth. It does not cost an action to play a relic. So she's going to play the silver key, which instantly moves her to any location on the board. So she pops out of reality there and goes straight to the portal over here, discarding this. As an expense for doing that, though, she does have to roll a sanity die. So two locations get, uh, two cultists get added to her current location. That's probably the best result. I mean, nothing would have been the best result, I guess. But that's that's not bad. So that wasn't an action. That was just, you get to play a relic, usually out of turn. But we have an Elder God preventing that from happening. Either way, it's not an action. It's just a free play. It's a free action. So she's at the, she's at the Innsmouth gate. She's got five Innsmouth cards, so she'll pay those to seal the gate meaning we only have one more gate left, and that's the Kingsport one. Now, as, as reward for closing that gate, she gets to remove one cultist from each location in this town. So that's... she just did away with four cultists. That's huge. And that's her turn. Well, that's that's that action. So what was that? That was... One, two actions. So that was her third action to seal the gate. She still has one more action to go. And one thing as an occultist she can do is force this Shogoth to move one location. I think I'm just going to set him back a little ways to a closed gate. That just sets him... That just pushes him back just that, that, that much more, I guess. He's going to want to get down to Kingsport at this point. That's, that's his ultimate goal. It's sort of a race to get there, I guess, but not that big of a deal. I mean, honestly, I could, I guess, force him back to the Hunter's Square. She's already insane, so she doesn't have to do anything when a Shogoth roll, uh, shows up. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that, actually. That's that's both of their turns. That couldn't have gone better. Like that 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 was huge. That was a a very significant turn. I've only got one Kingsport clue. That's my that's my that's the problem. Well, sorry. Three Kingsport clues. That's not a problem. That's good. That's great. Oops, I just gave it to the wrong person. This is the occultist. So she's got three Kingsport. That's great. That's really good. That's a pretty good round. Oh, I need to summon. I can't just... I don't get to just waltz out of here for free. So I get a park cultist and a junkyard cultist. Where is the junkyard? Is it here? No, that's the factory. Where's the junkyard? Junkyard's here. Park is down here. 
Nobody cares about the park anymore. Seal the gate is sealed. That's the wrong deck. Okay, there we go. Cool. That was a great round. That was really satisfying. There's hope. There is hope yet. Other than one of our investigators being uh, ha having some trouble just sort of grasping reality, the uh, the the situation's actually looking pretty good. Let's find out what happens next time. Thanks for watching.